am I the asshole for withdrawing wife privileges from my boyfriend until he chooses to propose to me? And this one is cross posted by Zimich8. Sean, what are you thinking? Well, I got to say, he shouldn't have any wife privileges if you're not a wife. <laughs> so yeah. I will say not the asshole. Okay. What are you saying, John? Uh, yeah, I got to agree. I'm standing with Sean here too. I feel like you can't have wife privileges <laughs> if, you're if you're not, not a, a wife. wife. So yeah, if there's no ring to it, then no one's answering that call, baby. So, so I, I got to say not the asshole either. Before we get into the story, Zimich post cross posted this on our subreddit with the title. Uh, how do y'all feel about wife privileges? Like, what do you guys think about that as a concept? I don't even know what that is, to be quite honest with you. Okay. So, I mean, I think. Is, is it just to get like the benefits of like, you know, have being able to uh, file tax jointly? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's my privilege for me. I'm like, hey, we get to save a little bit on tax because, you know, we're, we're married and shit. Yeah. But, I, no. I think there's a debate between it because I think it's, it's more like, quote unquote, wifely duties, you know, like. Uh, taking care of the home, uh, that kind of stuff. So, so more gender norm stuff. Exactly, and I think that's why Zimich question, posed that question because um, I oh. think it's because uh, I've seen it on TikTok uh, for sure. It's a it's oh. a it's a trend, but just wanted to get your your thoughts on it. Uh, to me, it seems like an outdated premise. Oh, it is. I'm out here just thinking about fucking like tax implications <laughs> and shit, and everyone here is thinking about like goddamn like you know societal gender norms. But yeah. You know, privileges are like that shouldn't even be a thing. You know, yeah. like marriage and relationships to me are always about partnerships. Yeah. Like what you can both bring to the table collectively as a group to make both of your lives better together. So uh, that's that is a pretty outdated concept. Okay, I assume Sean agrees. <laughs> I mean, yeah, me and Nancy just split the chores on what we prefer to what we each prefer to mm -hmm. do. Right. Uh, and if that means folding clothes and doing <laughs> dishes and grocery shopping, she's going to do it because I'm a man. No, I'm just kidding. Sean's uh, <laughs> like, no, I do Is she that, next to you? I, I was no, like, no, if I see a chop cloth across the room, <laughs> I'd be like, damn, uh, you deserve that, bro. We did the, for, for your non-patrons, we did the Patreon episode. Uh, we recorded it. And that was the first time Nancy was in the room with me while I recorded an, ep an episode. And she was like, I don't notice this when listening to it, so Josh must be very good at editing, but you're so goddamn loud. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, that's, but yeah, Josh is good. I love all the audio sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I scream a lot, so. <laughs> that's true. Um, all right, well, uh, I just, yeah, that was the first question I wanted to pose to you guys before we hop into this. So the, the title again, and then I'll get into it, is Am I the Asshole for Withdrawing Wife Privileges from My Boyfriend Until He Proposes to Me? You should just uh, withdraw them indefinitely. <laughs> That's a good take. It sounds right like y'all should just break up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do the story first. <laughs> I think, no, move Damn. on. I think we did. Oh, okay. Yeah, move <laughs> the fuck I think on. We, right, we deemed them like, uh, just break up. Factor, whatever. <laughs> uh, no, so my 29 female boyfriend, 31 male, have been together for seven years now. I had voiced that I wanted to be engaged before the four year mark, and he agreed at the time. Sheesh. So they are three years overdue. Yeah. Um, mm. When we were half a year from reaching our fourth anniversary, I revisited the topic of marriage and told him I expected to get married. He was finishing up his master's program at the time and said he wanted to get out of student debt again and get his finances in order. I bit my tongue and understood that we were partners and I could try to meet him halfway. He earns good money and we already moved in together two years into our relationship and did long distance when he was in his master's program. My job is remote, so I moved into his hometown three hours away from... The OG. And I don't know what that means. <laughs> the OG. Is OG is usually like original. Yeah. Original, the original, original what? what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I don't understand. I assume she means her original town, but it's definitely not the right context. The yeah. OG. The OG is funny. Um, so <laughs> I have been seeing all my friends and cousins get married, and it's hard to feel happy on such a joyous occasion when your ring finger feels so empty and everyone starts asking you. Lately, my partner has been thriving at work and enjoying his new life, and it's almost as though he's forgotten about our personal goals. When I initiated the discussion again, I could sense he was dragging his feet. He didn't have enough money for a ring or saving for a wedding when he would very well buy the motorbike he always wanted since he was a kid. Nah, nah, a motorbike <laughs> is much more expensive than a ring. Yeah. Well, I mean, depending on like how crazy you want to go in the ring. But like, but the priorities, but the priorities <laughs> is crazy. 
Yeah. yeah. The money he spent on the bike could definitely go towards the ring or pay the entirely, ring. entirely for the ring. Absolutely could. So Agreed. Uh, he Crazy. said our life is good as it is. Why do we need a stamp of validation from the world? You are on your own health insurance, so what's the mm. point? <laughs> Sis, I hate to break it to you. It sounds like you ain't never going to get married this up. man right here. Oh, Y'all got to break it I hate up. to yeah. say it. You're on your own health insurance, so what's the yeah. point? It's a crazy statement. <laughs> uh, so all of this just left me heartbroken. Why don't I deserve to be his wife after being his girlfriend for so long? Does he not love me enough to make a romantic gesture for me, choosing me over his useless bike? I talked to my sister who got engaged two years into her relationship, and her approach was simple yet effective. She told me to withdraw all wife privileges from him until I get that title that he has to earn me not cleaning and cooking for him, moving out, not paying his expenses sometimes, stuff like that. Damn. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know moving in was wife privileges, but uh, like that. Yeah. Wild. Um, so my boyfriend got mad because I didn't renew our lease with him and told me that's a very poor way of handling things and that we need this constant in our life to preserve this intimacy telling me that's the kind of precedent I'm setting up for our eventual marriage. <laughs> that's right. What eventual marriage, bro? You're going to get like two more bikes prior to getting that ring. <laughs> True. Uh, I've been a wife for you without the title. I gave myself completely to you only to expect you to do this one thing for me. I've waited long enough. I don't believe in ultimatums, so I'm not going to force your hand. I'm simply acting as your girlfriend now. And if you really want our relationship to go back to what it was, you better give me an upgrade. So am I the asshole? No, no. Force the hand, sis. Uh, you're not the asshole, but you should just leave him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> as the boy said. Definitely dump the guy. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. Uh, he, don't, he don't sound like he wants to tie the knot. Because he could like, definitely afford all. the ring if he can afford the bike. Oh, 100%. Yeah. And he's he's like got a good job. It's been two years out of his master's. I mean, he's probably still play, paying those student debts, but I'm sure he's got something saved up or he could... At this point, I feel like she would be like, okay, with a pretty like not expensive ring even <laughs> but and an upgrade later on yeah, yeah i could i could yeah. see that you not know that she this should is this, for that but uh absolutely this is giving me a guy that would probably get engaged within like 6 months of their next relationship type of guy <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was one of the comments <laughs> oh shit <seriously? laughs> uh I, yeah i actually it's one of the comments <laughs> human shaped to uh shaped thing uh, said, this is the kind of guy who will propose to his next girlfriend in four months. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, It's funny because I've known people that are like like that in real life. Yeah. So I'm just like, hmm, so. Yeah, I wouldn't have well, thought you that. Just not- I would have just thought he would have been a little shithead the rest of his life. And now no, you see it nah. all the time. Cause, oh. You see, it, it happens all the time, yeah. brother. Because <laughs> these, these uh, I, don't, I don't know, like these dumb motherfuckers basically <laughs> don't, don't realize like they're with their person. And so when they lose that person, they're like, Oh, I fucked up. And then the next person they get, they're just like, ring, here you go. I Shit, I don't wanna, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then they'll go back to being shitty eventually again. Um, but True. it's just, uh, that's kind of what I think I've seen anyway in, in my personal life. Uh, so it seems like we've seen the same kind of people. Yeah. Josh, so. yeah I think they're more than people think out there. Yeah. <laughs> it, it do happen a lot. Um, so she does add an edit to this. Um, cause apparently there were a bunch of comments, uh, Probably not calling her an asshole, but oh, there was a lot of those, but that's not what she's responding to. So uh, Ugh, she goes, I can't wait till what Reddit fuck it's up. I know they're going to say something <laughs> out of pocket. So edit to all the dense folks asking me why I don't just propose. I have something to say. <laughs> there it is. There it is. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Some people like things to be traditional and he and I are certainly like that. There's nothing wrong with wanting that. In our culture, it's 2023 in hetero relationships. A woman makes comments about being ready to marry slash wanting to get engaged. Uh, is her proposal. So that is her proposal, bringing it up is what she's saying. Uh, then it is up to the man to either accept by proposing formally or declining or decline to not propose at that stage. The woman proposing is embarrassing herself by doing that, to be honest, which I don't fully agree with. But Yeah, I don't know uh, about that one. I don't either. Maybe in your situation, just because of how much Y'all have talked you've about been doing. it. Yeah. Um, but I think in healthy relationships, that can be fine. So... Uh, for sure. Didn't agree with that. But she goes on to say, it's just a dumb gotcha where people like to play faux dumb and scratch their heads about how daft cultural norms are and like to pre- pretend that things have evolved to how they wish them to be in the future. Similar to the faked disingenuous way you've discussed marriage and both said you want it, 
Surely that means you're engaged. Why are you waiting for a ring? He probably doesn't realize you even need one. You're engaged. Just book a venue, which pretends that the proposal doesn't actually exist as a way of formally asking for marriage instead of merely expressing positive feelings towards the idea. So I think she makes good points in there. (laughs) Um, She lost me kind of as soon as she said the making a joke or blah, blah, blah. Wait, which part? I was kind of out. The The part where she was like, uh, the woman is embarrassing herself if she proposes. Oh, then I kind of oh, just oh. zoned out and was like, I don't know. Fair. Really. Okay, I disagree with that part. Everything she said <laughs> after is like, uh, like this is the relationship. Uh, like she's, it's cultural norms for the man to propose, right? Yeah. Um, and so if she and her husband, or her not husband, <laughs> the damn boyfriend, that's not a- <laughs> <laughs> will <Oops>. never be. <laughs> um, her boyfriend, she's discussed this and been like, hey, I would like a ring. And he said, yeah, just wait. Like that's him agreeing to do that. Uh, yeah. just at a later date, but he keeps pushing it off and pushing it off. And so for people to be like, oh, you're engaged. Like it's not a, no, like you're not, he has to do the act of actually asking you. Otherwise it's just a discussion, which you should have beforehand, but that does not mean you're yeah. engaged. <laughs> I, I would also add to like, you know, granted some people have like different ways of like viewing partnership, whether that's like, uh, you know, whether if they want it to be like married and all that, or, or just wants to have like, you know, that, that, that civil relationship per se, or like a partnership. Uh, I don't know, but if I was OP writing the story and kind of realizing like everything that she went through, she already mentioned that, you know, she moved OGs or she moved towns just to be like next to, uh, next to, uh, because he works, she works remotely, right. Yeah. Be closer to him. Um, she already bit her tongue like four years in the relationship when she already discussed like, Hey, this is what I want. And, you know, for him to just agree. Uh, if I was her, like, you know, I would just put everything to consideration and just have that realization and say, like, hey, maybe I'm not the one for this person. So uh, cut your losses. If you're already kind of, you know, away from each other, uh, living in different spaces and you already kind of have that distance, you know, the next step is take a little further and maybe, you know, find someone that has the same values as you wanted to get married. Because mm. it seems like at this at this point, he would rather buy a bike than put a ring on your finger what does that say about like what your future is going to be? Right. So like that you already made the sacrifices. He's obviously not willing to make uh, meet you in the middle. So that's not a good foundation for a relationship or the, the hope of marriage that you want to have in the future. So I just call it quits. Sis. Yeah. Um, I got one more comment here. Uh, so Reddit deemed her, not the asshole. Uh, Golden goof 19, however, said you're the asshole to yourself. Hmm. Why do you want to marry someone who isn't excited, ecstatic, and over the moon about marrying you? The proposal phase is a high point in a relationship. It's one of the good times. If he hasn't, if he isn't all in in the good times, then what's he going to be like in the bad times? He is wasting your Facts. time. Even if you convince him to propose and get married, do you really want to be with someone you had to convince? I say this as someone True. who's been there. You do not. It will always be dissatisfying. It will get worse. You will waste more of your time on this when you should be healing from it and finding someone who wants to marry you. So I think that is a pretty succinct. Yeah, that's spitting. (laughs) Uh, So yeah, uh, brilliant take. uh, And I think that's 100% what OP should, should listen to. 